Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have my April in review. Can you believe it's already May? Like where did the month go? Fresh coffee, I'm on a break, my lunch break at work. So I got a few minutes. So I thought I would do a quick uh, April in review. Now, let's get into it. In April, let me get a pen. Health-wise, I got my stitches out of the suspicious skin that was removed. I had to go back. I don't know if I told you. They removed a large piece. I had a pretty long incision with 10 stitches, five on the inside, five on the out. So I went in. They removed the stitches. The pathology came back. It was clear margins, nothing to worry about any further, uh, but I did get an infection, so I had to take some antibiotics and all that there jazz, but other than that, it's fine. Um, I did get my mammogram. So I am now done for the year of all of my exams. I even got new glasses. I don't know if I showed you in my last review. I typically go in February, but I think I went in March this year. I don't remember, but anyway, I got new glasses, new prescriptions, and I didn't lose any weight, but I didn't gain any weight. So I netted the month at zero loss or gain. That's a win in my book. Um, things are gonna change now that I'm gonna be getting out on my bicycle and doing a little more ru running around and outdoor activities as soon as the weather cooperates, which it's not doing right now. It's rainy, stormy weather. I don't like it and Wellington doesn't like it. His little health update. If you don't know, Wellington is my 14 year old male cat. He's the tuxedo cat, so he has a white belly. He has basically the same allergies I do, seasonal allergies, but he gets asthma, typically in the spring and sometimes in the fall, but mostly in the spring. So I had him at the vet. He was digging and scratching at his ears, nose running, coughing. So I took him in, got him some steroids. He's finishing up those now and he seems to be fine. He's eating and drinking. Now the steroids do make him very thirsty. So he's eating and drinking a lot, but he's good. Alex is just Alex. He's perfectly fine. I need to get some footage of them for one of these videos coming up. Okay, travel-wise, we all know I went to Canada and had a fantastic time. Um, I went up on a Thursday. I stayed in Canada Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, came home Sunday. And I've already booked for next year's retreat, same hotel. I'll be going in May next year. I think it's the 5th of May. So almost exactly a year from now, I'll be going back to the stitching retreat in Canada. I had so much fun. I met some wonderful people. And hey, if you're local to me here in the Columbus area, I'm thinking of getting a stitchy crafty night together at my pool house at my condo. We could cross stitch if you knit, any kind of like easy handicraft that doesn't require bringing like a sewing machine or table or anything like that. <laughs> so I'm thinking about it, let me know. Um, so yeah, I had a fantastic time. Um, I did, like I said, I booked next year. So that kind of ate into what I could pay off on a credit card. But at this point, I mean, I got to live too. And they're finally opening up the world and I want to, I want to be there for it. I'm, I'm there for all the things. Also in April, it was a fantastic month for me. So I was in Canada for the first, second and came home on the third and then I went on the 9th to Cincinnati. Uh, my favorite author is J.R. Ward. She writes uh, many author, many books, but the series I love is The Black Dagger Brotherhood. I enjoy that one the most and that series and I got to hear her speak and talk about the book and it was wonderful. And then on the 12th, I got to work the Elton John concert at my part-time job, which again was fantastic. Um, I worked the spring football game for the Buckeyes. It was fine. Uh, Chris Stapleton concert, a comedy show. Um, I worked Bill Burr, another comedy show. I worked Alabama concert. That was fantastic. And then to cap off the month on the 30th was Journey and Toto, which Journey is honestly my favorite band. 
band. I love Cher. Cher is my favorite like artist. I love music. Let's just be honest. But anywho, so April was a pretty fantastic month and I'm not sure that I'm going to be topping that off anytime soon. But so I was out and about a lot. I guess the end of the result is I spent more on gas, travel, lodging, and I am not mad about it. Um, savings wise, so I take $100 per paycheck and I use it for coffee, little stops here and there. If I need to run into the grocery store, other than my major grocery shopping, anything that I'm out and about and I can just use cash, I do. So I have for the month left over $35 that can go into my savings. So I will tell you just from this little experiment really that I'm doing, where I take $100 per paycheck. I try to use it for anything, like instead of swiping my ATM card. Most of my bills, I don't pay cash because it's just not convenient for me. I know that's lame, but it's true. And gas, I use my um, one credit card and I pay it off every month because I get points. So this is really just out and about running around. If I need to go pick up a scan of floss or, you know, whatever. So from the beginning of the year, from January to now, I was able to save so far $450 cash of just money that I didn't spend. Now I spent a lot this month because like I said, I was on the go a lot. Um, but I still was able to, to rescue $35. And this money I have determined is for next year's stitching retreat in May. And I think I wanna go to one in June here in Ohio. So this money that I'm saving will pay for hotel and travel and getting into these events. So I need to step up my trap, my savings game, but the ones will count too towards it. And then I was able to save all of these ones I didn't spend. And I have change behind me. Every time I get like coins, I don't spend it unless I need an Aldi quarter for my cart. Um, I don't spend it unless I need that. So I have like $30 and change too. So here's my ones going into there. We don't count these until the end of the year. So those are all the $1 bills so far. I'm gonna probably have to transfer this money to a larger vessel. And um, I have from Ibotta. So Ibotta is an app. And I use it when I grocery shop and it gives you money back on certain items. So it's like sort of like a coupon, but they're giving you the cash back. And I have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90 dollars so far from Ibotta towards Christmas money. That just from cashing out when I get like 25, 30, 40 dollars, I cash out and I take it out of my account and I put it in this envelope. And at the end of the year, we'll see how much money I have to put back towards Christmas. And then I do have a few gift cards that I got from Fetch Rewards, which if you're not a member of either one, the links are down below and you get money back just for shopping, which we all have to do. I bought it is mostly like groceries and pets. That's where I get most of my cash back is from pet food and stuff. So that is done for the month and we are well on our way. I just wanted to, I definitely am going to Canada because I've already paid for that portion. I will just have to pay for my hotel when I get there next year. But the trip in June for, it's called StitchCon. It's in Southern Ohio or down towards the Cincinnati area, I think. Um, it's happening in June. This year's already sold out. Plus I want to budget for it. So I'm saving my money for next year. And it's another event that has two different weekends. So I'll have to figure that out when tickets go on sale for that and again hotel so we did that um i was able to send to my capital one card one thousand one hundred dollars and i want to thank you all for watching the commercials on my channel i know sometimes they can be annoying but it really helps me earn back the money that I spend to bring you content. And that's really what I use that money for. So like when I go to the Dollar Tree, it all comes out of the monies that I earned from YouTube. And it just helps me bring you along and be able to buy better stuff, more stuff, bring you more content. So thank you for helping me with that. Um, I don't know if I told you, but my voice credit card paid off in full. So zero balance. 
zero balance on my Kohl's charge and zero balance on my dental. So of the four debts last year that I set out to pay off, I have one left. And that is my Capital One credit card. And I'm hoping to have that paid off this year. It's not exuberant. I think it's like $4,000. So it's very doable. I just need to do it and stop using it. I mean, I don't use it a lot, but sometimes, yeah, blah, blah. Um, and my new mortgage starts May 1st. So it's already come out and it didn't change much, like a couple dollars. Um, so that's easy peasy done. But I am hoping that my utilities go down and I'm talking about my electric and my gas. So I, if you're not aware, I purchased in February, March, a new furnace and air conditioning unit for my condo. My air conditioner was dated 1989. That's the year that these condos were finished and people moved in. The furnace was dated 1986. So it's probably when they started building. So these were original to my condo and they were old. And I know my electric bill paid in the summer sometimes my electric got up to almost $300 just to keep the air. And I only keep my house on 72 and in the winter on 68. So I'm hoping that I see soon a reprieve um, in the electric. I'll know more in the middle of the summer. It's been, I've had the air on and I've had the heat on and now I don't think I have either on. It's just the, the weather has been like in the 80s, in the 40s. It's all over the place right now. But I'm hoping against hope that that's where I see some savings is in my utilities. Also, I think next month I need to call my cable company because it's that time of year where AT&T wants to raise my internet charge. And I literally only have high speed internet and it's I think fiber optic with AT&T. But every year I have to call them. So I have a note in my, in my little handy dandy planner that tells me, I think it's May or it could be June. There's a note in here it tells me that I need to call and tell them to re reduce my cable bill. I don't know what it is. I have to, I'll have to find it, but I need to have my cable bill at least where it is now. I don't want it to go up. So I have to do that. And then, um, goal wise house goals this month. Um, I want to clean up and work in my office. It gets a little cluttery during the holidays and all of the Dollar Tree stuff that I bring into the house either needs to find a home or it needs to get donated or it needs to find its way out of my home. So sometimes I get backed up on that. I did spend some time last night cleaning these shelves behind me, organized, pur purged a bunch of stuff and dusted. Can you tell I dusted? I bet you can. Um, and this office just needs general purging. So that's all my goals. And then there's an area in my basement in the back. It's a small little unfinished part that has some stuff in there that just needs to make it to the trash. It was leftover stuff from my mom, from my niece, Sarah, when she lived here, junk that I had down there, stuff that we just don't need. And half of it's not even worth donating. But when I say purge, I evaluate every piece of items of stuff that leaves this house and it either goes to Goodwill, Volunteers of America, or it goes in the trash if, there, if I don't see that there's any kind of value in giving somebody else my trash. So there's that. Um, coming up in this month, I'm working Justin Bieber, uh, some comedian, John Mulaney, another comedian i think there's nothing really exciting going on this month i mean justin bieber i suppose i do have to work in the oh that was the other thing in may so my work has deemed us permanently remote so what that means for me budget wise and i don't know every state is different but in where i live i work in one county and i live in another so I have to pay city income tax to both. I pay the city of Columbus and I pay the city of Pickerington where I live and where I work. So typically it's a percentage to the city I live in. So I do get a credit for what I pay to Columbus, but I'm still out like $300 a year 
that I have to pay to the city that I live in. So quarterly, I send them a check because my work can't take two city taxes out. It's just convoluted. However, deeming me a remote worker, I believe I will only pay Pickerington tax. Now, it just took into effect, so I'm not making any changes. I'm still paying Pickerington quarterly. I will file my taxes in February or March next year, and my tax person will know what to do about that because I may have to pay... A percentage to the county that I work in because it was May that they switched things around I don't know but future should be looking better as far as tax deductions go for that uh, yeah so I think that is pretty much everything I decided that I don't need to buy any more cross stitching stuff for a while I seem to have plenty of that um, and during my purge, I'm finding fabric I forgot I had and yeah. So I'm trying to also take like all of my stitching stuff and put it together, all of my knitting, like these white bins and the green, these are all yarn and knitting related stuff, which is fine. It's very safe where it's at. The cats can't get to it, but I'm just trying to organize. So I'm not, and I've been on a don't buy any yarn kick for a while because I have, I have plenty of yarn for my knitting. Um, so like I said, thank you so much. And thank you for those who donated to Pelotonia. I will be reaching out shortly with the email for those who left me an email. I really appreciate your donations. It just helps take that stress off of me that I can focus on training and not on fundraising. And I appreciate that. Um, yeah, so that's everything, everyone. I hope you had a fantastic day and I will talk with you later. Bye.